again. Kylo Chavo trying to make a difference since his entry in this game. Pero siya lang talaga para dito sa EAC. We'll see though if it will change here in the first half. We've seen crazier comebacks in the past. So 20 point lead para sa Perpetual. Sa panimula ng ating third quarter. Wow! Roque all over Doria to take away that pass. Nitura! Kakabalik lang sa ating laban after a long rest. MDO underneath. Talaga pag naglalaro mo sa shaded area ay friendly fire yung minsan tatama sa'yo eh. Tapos tinamaan ng sipo ni Mark Omega. Bumagsak. Tinamaan pa nung sapatos. Magtapa but again, it's basketball. Yeah. It's not a contact sport anymore. It's a collision sport. Kaya yes. kailangan talaga ready ka dyan pagkat sumusa ka dyan sa shaded area. And Kylo Chavo getting fouled. Pero itong si Cyrus Netura took a long rest in that first half and did not need to come back right away because Razon was actually performing well. Because uh -huh. si Kylo Chavo tubong Cebu online sensation. Every time we go and air EAC games, ang inahanap ng mga fans, mga basketball fans natin sa chat, nasan si Kylo Chavo? Last year pa yan, last year pa yan. Okay. Puntaan muna natin ang side ng EAC. Here is an update from their dugout. What can they do in this game, Julia? Oh, Julia. Martin and Coach Hammer, hindi ako pinapasok sa dugout. Kaya naman, iskwento ko na lang sa inyo ang naging lost huddle nila. Alam niyo daw, ang naging problema lamang daw ay selfishness. Nagkakanya-kanya daw sila at nawawala sa sistema. At alam niyo ba, sa frustration nga ni Coach Gerson, ay sinabi niya lang na habulit niyo yan. At alam niyo, kanina ang nanguna ay si Brian Angeles. At, at ang sabi niya ay depensa tayo mga pare. Yung opensa, dadating din yan. Oh, or for now, Martin and Coach Thank you, Julia. Sorry to hear that you were not able to enter the dugout of VAC. MDO flexing his muscles. And Coach Gerson is fired up. He is livid on the sidelines. Dahil may contact nga sa ilalim. Hindi tinamagan. It was a basketball move. May kakagawan sa bola. Bumagsak si Doria on the weak side. Yun yung ikinokontest ni Coach Gerson Gabildes. Dahil nagkaroon na parang scrum eh. Yeah. Sa ilalim. They've been at it since the second quarter. Coach Gerson conversing with our referees. And it's the same referee that he is addressing here. So bench technical on Coach Gerson. Dahil yeah. yun nga yung nangyari sa ilalim eh. So na, nagkakabagsakan ng players ito ha. Kung titigan mo on the weak side, may contact. Ayan, bumagsak. Exit si Doria, kumonta. Nagkakaroon na ka. Uh, Ayan ang tawag. So let go. Dahil nagpupwestuhan, everybody jockeying for position. Unless you have a clear advantage. Hindi nila tinatawagan. Dahil parehas yung magalaw eh. Yeah. Kala niya may tulak dun sa rebound sequence ni Omega at Magulliano. Okay. Coach Gerson is still fired up. Yan yung sinabi ni Julia. We'll see if it will translate here in the second half. Brian Angel is ang nagsabi na kailangan magsimula sa depensa para sa kanila. Unable to get it done in the previous possession. And here's a Chavo, the long three-pointer is off. Follow-up, wala pa rin. Meron pa rin takip yung rig ng EAC. O Chavo, ininapit na. Ayun, nakapuntos na ang EAC. Nakadiin talaga kay Lo Chavo. The only right spot dito sa larong to para sa kanila. Talaga nakadiin all throughout. And even challenging the bigger guys of Perpetual. Yes, 11 points. Let's go to Perpetual side. Here's an update coming from Lizel Nervous. Lizel. Thank you, Martin. The time is now. Isecure na natin ang panalo. Ayan ang sinabi ni Coach Mike sa higit sa kanyang kupanan kanina sa dugout where I was met with a hopeful perpetual from not being able to lead in their last game to a double digit lead today. Kaya naman sabi ni Coach Mike, ay alam niyo naman ang ginagawa niyong tama sa court. Kaya naman, a plus 50 pa natin ang score natin ngayon. This third quarter, ang gusto ng makita ng coaching staff ang pinakagutom na perpetual altas. Will the team be able to maintain their momentum and secure that W? All from the side from the all? Martin and Coach Hammond. Thank you so much, Lisa. We'll go back to your report. When we return after this timeout, it's a 23-point lead for the Altas.
Is this Jello Razon? Oh, si Jello Razon. Number one fan naman ni Jello yan. Oh, di ba? Ba't naman ganun yung picture? Mamaya. Sasabihin ni Jello. Ang dami-dami kong siya, picture. Siya kayo nag-print yan. Ah, siya nag-print? Siya nag-print yan. Okay, may authorization oh. pala. Okay, balikan natin yung sinabi ni Lizelle kanina. Not surprised with Coach Mike's word getting a little bit more intense oh. in their uh, huddle dugout. Yeah, it's it pa din lalo. <laughs> Alam mo Martin. Ako ay ganoon speak for experience in the dugout. Na I had a coach. Yeah. Na one of the winning is in the NC. Na paglaman kami ng double digit na uh, 15. Sa challenge ka pa na lalo iba on. Uh -huh. Beat them so that they would be beaten the next game. Yeah. <laughs> ganun ka, ganun ka baon na i-degree, di, 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 ibabaksa po talaga yung moral ng kalaban. Yeah. I was about to say, as we trade baskets right there, Roque with the three-pointer, Doria with the basket. Yung pagdiin mo palalo, makakatulong yan sa'yo, especially oh. in the coming games. Oh, Roque! Finishing the alley-oop! Eye in the sky play for Perpetual. Goggles are out. Yeah. Pati ikaw, nakalabas, ha? Huh? Labas. Ito yun, yung Omega. Cortiza. You know, the shots are falling for EAC. This, this is the guy that he wants to... Uh... Really knock down shots. Probably their most gifted scorer. Itong si King Gortiza. Oi, my friend, ah, Kuya Paolo Ortega. Nasa La Union. Bata niya to, si King uh, Gortiza. Played in San Fernando La Union. Doon niya, doon niya na discover eh. Yeah, may program nila yung power. Oh. Yan. Think God pa dati yun. Nung naglalaro ko, may nakalaro ako doon. Pero nakikain lang talaga. <laughs> Pero yan, Kuya Kuya ko yun okay. sa San Beda. And it's one of the... Better leaders when it comes to youth But development. Look at this play! MDO. Okay, it was a pass on the catch coming from the MDO, and he did it in midair. So, setter? Setter? Oh, yun na, pwede. Pwede yung setter? Pwede yung middle block? Ang cut na setter nito. Oo. Kasi hindi di malineup ni... sa volleyball eh. Loaded din yung volleyball. May Louis Ramirez eh. Wala. Para baliktad yung basketball ka nalang, hindi ka pala line-up yun. Correct. Doon mahirap kung makapasok. As we take a look at that sequence for JP Mamuliano. Of course, Perpetual completing the three-peat in men's volleyball. Looking for the fourth one? Yeah. And they still have an intact line-up going into next season. Meantime, this is JP Mamuliano. Omega yung middle block. Oo nga eh. Tsaka Ramirez ka sa game. Although, luluwag ang trabaho ni Ramirez na, di ba? Tsaka hindi matitechnical si Mark eh. Okay. Hindi matitechnical. Tsaka hindi siya mapapaul trouble. Ito na. Perpetual executing once again. Again, these fast plays really killing EAC. And this is their game, ah. Yeah. Talking about Perpetual. They like to play up and down. Like most NCAA teams, ah. pagka-execution, dadaling nila sa triangle. Pero mas preferred nila to. Takbuhan, running jump tayo, palakasan tayo ng katawan, box out din nyo kami. Yeah. Kukuha na namin kayo ng kukuha na ng rebound, tapos tatakbo kami na tatakbo. Ito yung nakita natin nung off-season, ano? oh, pre-season leagues. Totoo. Kaya talaga, ang hirap yung mga teams matalo itong perpetual doon. As we take a look at this sequence, again, execute, uh, execution rather, John Abyss on the receiving oh. end. Tsaka alam mo, Mark, kanina, prior to the game, isa sa mga close friends ko, si assistant ni Coach Mike Sagigit, si Coach Mark Orias. We were, uh -huh. we were bonding over lunch. Kinukwento nga niya na ang naging main challenge for the Perpetual Altas was their health. Going into this season, okay. most of their key players, we're talking about Jun Roque, etong si Bar, uh, not Barco Marazon, yeah. was, uh, was really nursing in Jones. Oh, uh, yeah. Kailangan nila maging healthier. Dahil yun yung nagiging prerequisite for them to perform. Dahil they're a very running job team. So kailangan physically at their peak sila. So this is them in their full strength. So, might be. Yeah. Might be. In time, handoff, Orgo, Roque, corner shot. Sa ating malakas. Huwag kayong kukurap. EAC, sinusubukan na uh, lumapit dito. Ochavo with a three-pointer earlier. And he will take this one himself. Wala. Yeah, in those sequences, yun yung mga matututunan ni Kyle. Oh. Diba, kahit nararamdaman mo na. Okay, you always have better options. Oh! As Magulliano swats it away. Pagka ganun, kalmahan mo lagi. Diba? Oh, one, one or four na yun. Yeah. Itiniin pa niya sa gitna ng depensa ng perpetual. 
Ito muna yung ganda na nung crossover eh. Iwan na. Kaso, may tulong, may respect. Huli sa taas. Si JP Maguliano. Lefty swat by JP. The right play. Dahil yeah. finish with the right hand, challenge with the left hand. Jericho Nunez. Kanina naka-floater doon ng first half. Backing down against Maguliano. Pagsak si Cortiza. Razon. Got it. From his favorite spot still. Di po lang yun. Bini. Hindi pa rin mag-minti si Jericho doon. 13 points now for him. Maguliano for three. Maguliano finds the bottom of the net. Pinababayaan ang mga referees natin yung mga incidental contact dito. Ah. Ah. So, we gotta be uh, careful with this. Dahil kanina pa, nagkakaroon ng kiskisa dyan. Pero masama sa lalo yan. Yeah. Pull up jumper. Pagaran. Too strong. And here's Ochavo. So, for the first time in this game, EAC is able to keep up with the firepower yeah. of the Altas. Gurtiza thinking about his move. Sends it to Maguliano at the post. He's got the mismatch. Puts it up and puts it in. And that's what you need to do. Really make them pay. Dahil mahilig mag-green dito, mag-jump switch. At mahilig mag-switch even small to big. Ang pinapadala sa'yo yung message ng perpetual. Hindi namin nanaraspend yung mga big guys nyo. Yeah. Kayang bantayan ni Parcuma, ni Orgot, saka ni Razon sa post eh. Yung mga big guys nyo. So what you gotta do, you gotta feed the beasts down low. Yeah. You gotta make them pay. You gotta make them feel your big guys. And Maguliano made them pay in the previous sequence. Pero dito, si Chris Pagaran nakabawi naman. And a bit of a stare down afterwards as well. Konting kintat lang. Pampasarap lang ng hapon. Yeah. 63-43. Back to where we started here in the second half. Here's the lob. That's what you need pass. to do. That's what you need to yeah. do. Every time there's a switch, mouse in the house. Kahit na anong contact dyan. Kasi yan ang nangyayari sa atin dito sa NCAA. Laging pabor sa maliit eh. Pag nasa ilalim, babaraging kanila ng babaraging. Pag inatrasan mo sila, tatawag ka ng offensive foul. So you gotta make them pay. You gotta hit back. Dahil pag... Pababayaan ka ng referee. Pag pinabangga ka nila at pinangga mo nung wala kang bola, let go yan. Ah, Lalo yeah. na sa shaded area. Magulang lang ka rin. Magbig ka rin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hindi yung mababangga yung ano marilig ka lang. Magbigyan mo rin na. Dapat ikaw yung advantage. Oh! Kasi, oh. Yun, Teka, Coach. Maniyari. On sportsman like ang oh. initial call. On John Abis. Again. Kanina pa to. Nabang nabanggit mo kanina, oh. Coach. Kasi nagiging physical na eh. Simula pa lang na third quarter. Dahil ganyan talaga eh. When teams are making a run, they want to impose their will on you. Might be physical, might be mental. But right here on uh, on this uh, frustration foul yata to. Oh, okay. So, Abyss retaliated. And Kunti kong anipis na bangga lang. Oh, okay. Mag bangga, bangga. Ano ba yan? Pero feeling ko built up na. Oo. Oh. Di ba? Kasi usually ako ah, personal naman to, hindi, it's not about being physical. If somebody hits you, you gotta run through them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kasi it's a basketball play. Eh. You don't hit them dahil bakit ba't ka babawi na maniniko ka or close this? Big sabihin, hindi mo kaya yung contact. So play within the rules. Yeah. You just impose your will, you bump and bump. Wala na kung sino yung unang bibigay, di ba? That time, it was John Abyss and King Cortiza uh -huh. takes care of both free throws. So, it's, it's a psychological and uh, physical game. Eh, na if I hit you and you don't hit back, I'll be hitting you the whole game. Uh, yeah, physical, yeah. physical, imposing my will, not nothing dirty. But if you hit back, I would respect you. Yeah. So, boom game. Yun ang gagawin natin. Maglaro tayo ng matiin. And at the end of the game, lan yan. Trawa, trawa rin tayo. And it's relatively been a physical matchup here. Oh! Pagaran and Luciano. Yep. This is what we're talking about. Okay. Ano man, konting ano lang. Wala, nagkaano lang to. Na, nakita mo, naiinaawat naman dito ni Maguliano. Pero that, they were just jogging for position. Nag, nag, na, pulupot lang yung kamay. A little extra after the after the play. Yung reaction lang ng ibang players. That's yeah. what happened. But uh, nothing nothing too serious. Bumagsak lang silang dalawa. Nagpa-box out lang. Nagkapulupot lang yung kamay. So calls will be made. Games will be under control. It looked worse though in real time. <laughs> You we were looking at it. Yeah. Oh, yung reaction kasi madalas yung mga yung reaction yun yung uh, nag nag amplify sa situation. But it was a basketball play. Both of the guys. Please Itong si, I think that was uh, number As eight. Luciano. Luciano. Yeah. Ito, nasa kabilang side sila eh. Nakakapit silang dalawa eh. Nagkakapitan oh, silang dalawa. Ayan, nag-over oh. the shoulder. Yung isa pa nga kay Boral. Yeah. May over the shoulder hit. 
Oh wow, pero ang tinawa ang nakita dito. Ay, nagkakapitan si Pagaran at si Luciano. Oh, yeah, yeah. I get pero, what you mean. Though. Oh, yung kay Boral, yeah. ah, may over the shoulder, ah. Si Bagod. Nasa, oh, nasa mukha tong mama, ah. Pero ang nakita. Yung kay Pagaran tsaka kay Luciano. Oh, that was just incidental, though. Hindi, yung isa hindi. Yung isa hindi. Sumwim uh. talaga over the shoulder. At naramdaman ni Boral, tumaligod siya kagad. Oo, oh, oh, hindi. Yeah. Tsaka kasi hindi na basketball move yun eh. Yeah. It's not, it's not, pero hindi yun yung call. It was Pagaran and Luciano. Na nakita mo, nagkapitan silang dalawa. Kasi usually, when you box out, you want to check on the chest. Yun uh-huh. yung turo ng mga coaches. Pag clinip ka, ikiklip mo din. So doon nagkakatawa ka ng foul. Lalo na pag nagugulat ka. Yeah. Si nakakagulat yun yung malakas na arrive ng forearm sa dibdib. Yeah. Yung cross-check parang sa hockey. Yun yung mahirap nakakagulat talaga. Lalo pag di ka ready. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And hence the reaction. It was Luciano. When he reacted and when he turned around. Oo, kasi ilalak mo yung balikat. Oh. Kaya nakita mo yung kaliwang braso ni Pagaran was inside. Yeah. And et, eto po, mga kapuso, yan po talaga yung nangyayari. Ito, makikita on the flip angle. Ayan ha, on the cut, nasa bottom of your screen, so merong black sleeves. Ayan, iuhook. Iuhook niya yung left arm ni Pagaran. Ayan, right arm pa nga. Ito sa cross the body. So, syempre, ikaw pipiglas ka din. Both of them should be called. This is a double foul. Simple as that. Hindi dapat tawagan yung pagbagsak. Kasi yung pagbagsak, nagpumiglas na kayo at tatawagan is the initial contact. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Over the shoulder, clean it. Nakakapit ka rin, it's a double foul. Yeah. Okay. Ito. Ito yung una, yung foul sa kabila. Oh. Tinawagan ng foul. Regular foul oh, na. Oo, oh. regular foul. Kaya namang na-upgrade o oh, oh. na-escalate. Yun yung una. Then may nangyari kasing sequence dun sa strong side. Sa weak side, nandun nangyari yung kay Luciano at saka kay Pagaran. Pagaran. So this is the Upon call. Upon there was a foul on number 23, Mark Omega. So MDO. Double yung. and sportsman-like foul oh. criteria 2. Double foul. Yeah. Uh, double pero double and sportsman. Pagaran. Pagaran. And on uh, number 8, J.C. Luciano. Nakalusot si Bakot at saka si Boral. For excessive hard contact caused by a player. Oh. So they should just cancel ball, each other opponent. out. Yeah. Pero si Omega yung... Uh, Yun yung foul talaga. May foul talaga. Oo. Oh, Nakalusot nga si Bakot. Oh. That was a hard, a hard you know? forearm. Yeah. Across the oh. face. Okay, back to the ball game. Ikaw naman, di na nga, di na nga nakita nung sinislow mo. Doon nakita eh. Doon pa sa angulo oh, mo. Oo, doon sa angulo mo eh. <laughs> Kung may isipin mo, yun yung akalaan. Yeah. Yung physical play. Okay, Robin has been struggling in this game. Okay. In these sequences, Coach Hammer, ito yung floater. Tingnan ulit natin. Oo. Oh. Yun, na. yun ang yeah, pwede yeah. mo i-contest kasi over the shoulder hit. Yung dalawa, tatawagin mo talaga ng hands mo yan eh. Yeah. Dahil ang kapitan. Kapitan ako kay Jesus, huwag sa kalaban. Oh, yeah. Okay. Apat na free throws para sa EAC in two sequences. Nanggaling kay Gortiza, nanggaling kay Ralph Robin. These are shooters who are trying to find their rhythm in this game. Bukod sa nagpapapaul itong uh, perpetual, baka makakuha ng rhythm yung exactly. mga scorer ng EAC. Yun nga yung ayaw mo, bigyan sila ng rhythm. At saka, turnovers are being awarded dito sa kumpula ng EAC. Ayan, tatlong sunod na yan. Yeah. Tapos naputol yung momentum nila dun sa double foul. Yeah. Kasi they were making a run, nakashoot ng dalawang free throw, apat na free throws rather, tapos may lal. Yeah. So yun yung mga momentum killer. Sabay lumabas yung wave. So, Magkita mga kuna niya, yung wave. Yung balloon siya. Yellow balloon wave. Eh. Perpetual has to be careful. Nico Kinal got away. And it's down to 12. 6 to 0 run. And this is what we're talking about. Momentum. This time on the side of EAC. Perpetual needs to answer. And they get an answer from Pagaran. Diretso. Bukas ang runway. Tawag nila dyan kay Pagaran. Air packs. Last talaga high leaper. 65-51. Oh, Magulliano lost it. Robin on the reload. Wala. Luciano. Ah, pocket pass to Magulliano. Nakupasa pala yun. Nakala ko tira. 53-65. Oh, not stopping ito ang EAC. Which they shouldn't do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They shouldn't be stopping because mahaba pa to. We're playing under 12 minutes till the end of the game. So you have to grind it out. 
Tama si Coach Cherson. Habulin niyo yan. Habulin niyo yan. Ito na. Isa na lang instruction dyan, Martin. Laro kayo. Laro rin nyo. Razon. Pokoral. Off to the left. Pagaran. Shot clock violation on the Altas. Five straight defensive stops para dito sa kuponan ng EAC. EAC. Yeah. So their momentum is being fueled by their physical ah. and defensive intensity. They've outscored perpetual 28 to 20 sa ating third quarter. Kinal. Luciano. Robin. Step back three. Nope. Wala pa din. Ah, yeah, wala. Blanco. Wala pang tumatama din. Parang kinal si Robin. The whole game. Uh, Zerato 7 from the field. He takes it away though. Perfect anticipation that time. Maguliano. Pinagga ni Omega. Paul talaga. Paul Penal. talaga. Penalty na oh. perpetual. Paul talaga. Balakang sa balakang pinagga. Side to side. Tatawagan niya ng foul. Dahil kumunta ka na nagdribble yung tao. Side to side. And extend mo yung hip. So, free throws for JP Maguliano. A chance to... Bring EAC to their closest in a while. This lead ballooned to 26 points just moments ago. And it is down to 11. Ito. Ito, hinabol niya ng bewang. Yung kabilang angle, kita yung pitik eh. Hard pump. Oh. Call for the whistle. Okay kung sasabayan mo ng takbo. Wala ka, naka... Naka-hip to hip ka lang. Ah. Pero yung mag-extend ka lang hip for him to move like that. Tawagan talaga ng ball. MDO forced to bring it across. Ito si Jello Razon. 11 points. Patak ang abante ng perpetual dito. And this is gonna be a foul on Kinal. They're not yet in the penalty. They've done a great job in preserving their fouls. So Jericho Nunez papilitan si Mark Denver Omega. Razon to trigger this one in. Nunez. Outed by Maguliano. Nunez. Nahihirapan pa rin. Nunez blowing by. Nunez takes it straight to the house. Dalawang uh, ganun Si Nunez off the inbound. Walang pabigyan ng handoff. Dineretso. In ka. Kinal. Straight away three. Short. Luciano with a smart play. 67-54, 25.1 left here in the third quarter. Kinal, nakawala na naman. Pero hindi tinira. Oh, take it away! Cielo is on the move, Razon! Menos is on the break. So playing the passing lanes, quick 4 to 0 run. A little bit more breathing space and a little bit more momentum. Yeah. 15 for Jello Razon. That's also the lead of Perpetual. Baku, that's not really his range. Abyss tracks it down as time expires in the third. How about this? Playing the passing lanes well, interfering with that pass was Jello Razon. And he was able to get the final say in the third quarter. He's got 15. And to equal their lead as well, 69 to 54 heading to the fourth and final quarter of this game.